I'm going to put together a little video on how I make my little paracord scorpions like this one here. I've been getting a lot of interest from my buddies in my Jeep group. And they'll go, oh, make me one, make me one. And I think that after you see this video, you'll understand why I don't just keep making them and giving them out to everybody. It's a little time consuming. Puts little blisters on my fingers. And it can be a pain in the butt. Anyways, I'm going to put together this little video in case anybody else wants to try doing it. Here's a list of what I kind of use as a guideline for my pinchers. I'm going to have, I've got a little pointer I can use this. For my pinchers, I'm going to need a four foot cord and a three and a half inch wire. Um, and I'm going to put four knots on each side of the wire uh, on each side of the pinchers. You'll understand after I show you. And for the body, I'm going to use five feet of cord with a four and a half inch wire and I'm going to be using for the stinger. And then I'm going to have four legs. Each one is going to have four inch wires and five inches of cord. And then for the bulk on the body, I'm going to use three foot of cord. Three foot. Three foot of cord. So this is my guideline of what I need. I've already gone ahead for the sake of making this video a little bit shorter. And, uh, put all these things together. And here are the ingredients, I guess you'd say. We're going to need a lighter for melting down the ends of the paracord after they're cut so they don't fray. Sometimes when I melt the ends, I'll melt them on top of this card and then spread it out so that I don't have to burn my fingers. That will become evident. I need some wire cutters. The wire that I use is actually thin enough where you could use scissors, but I don't like destroying my scissors. And I have these handy wire cutters, so I use these. I'll need a pair of scissors to cut the paracord into the various lengths I need. I'll need a little bit of scotch tape. Uh, that's to wrap the stinger around the working cords. Later on you'll see how I use that. Of course I'll need a measuring tape to figure out how long everything is. This is the wire that I use. It's called an artistic wire. I got it at Hobby Lobby for five and a half bucks. It's a 20 gauge wire and it's black. I originally started using silver wire that I had laying around the house, but sometimes that silver wire would show through when I was poking it through my different legs and stuff. So I started using this black wire. I'm much happier with this black wire. So I use that. This is the paracord that I use. It's a number 95 paracord. And I got this at Hobby Lobby for $2.99. And I get it in this tan color. And then I also get it, same size, number 95, in what's called chocolate brown, which is a little bit darker. And by using the two tones, I get this more realistic looking colored scorpion. So, I like the two-tone. And then to bulk up the body, let me set this down. To bulk up the body, like I do in the center here, the center section is bulked up. I use this Paracord 550. It's a little bit thicker, a little bit bigger, and it bulks up the body a little bit. And it's also used to hold the legs in place. So, that's how that works. And I believe I've listed everything that I use. So I've gone ahead and pre-measured out some of my stuff here. I've got the three and a half inch wires that I need for my legs. They're going to go into these four inch cords. And those are going to become the legs. This is my two pieces of 24 inch. Is that right? Yeah. Two pieces of 24 inch. One. 24 inch light colored, 124 inch dark colored. I'm going to tie them together to make the uh, pinchers. And I'm going to insert a three and a half inch wire in there. And then I'm going to have five feet of cord for the body. Two and a half feet of light color, two and a half feet of dark color. And then the pincer is going to be five inches of cord with four inches of wire inside of it. And so let's put this all together now. Let's start with making the legs. I hate making the legs, so let's get them out of the way. 
what we do is we take the okay for the legs I said three inch wires five inch cords so we take the five inch cord what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna melt one side of the oh first thing I'm gonna do is take the cord out of the center of these things and that makes it a little bit flatter and it also gives me a place to put the wire so then I want to melt the end just a little bit and the reason I'm doing this is so that when I'm working with it my wire doesn't slide right out the other end I want something for that wire to bump up against so then I take the cord and I insert the wire into the center of the cord until it goes all the way down and bumps against the end there okay it bumped against the end and now I've got this much slack I want a little bit of slack on each end because in the end when I start bending the legs into shape the wires tend to poke out so if I give them a little bit of slack at each end they don't poke out and then I can just trim them down to size from there so now I'm going to melt this end so that it doesn't all fray apart on me and when I'm just doing a little melt like this, I can just use my fingers. It's not, ow, ow, ow. It's not that bad. The next one, I'm going to use the paper, though. My fingers are getting a little sensitive. So there's one leg. Here's leg number two. I need to take the cord out. There's the cord. And then I need to melt the end. And if you don't want to burn your fingers, you can just do it like that on the card. And next, I'll put the wire in. I'm a little shaky. It's hard for me to work with this small stuff with my big clunky fingers. And there's my distracting fly. Every project should have a distracting fly. Okay, I got myself a little slack on that end. A little slack on this end. And I'll go ahead and melt that down so it doesn't fray on me any more than it already has. Make it just a little bit easier to work with. Okay. There's my second leg. Let's do this again. Pull the cord out of the middle. There it is. Pull that cord out. Melt down the end. Just so that the wire doesn't poke through when I'm installing them. I'll put the wire in. Three and a half inch wire. And that's all adjustable at the end there. I can make that shorter if I want. Tough to make it longer though. Give myself a little slack here. There's some slack on that end. A little bit more than I need. How about that? Some slack on that side. Some slack on that side. Go ahead and melt it up. Keep that wire in the middle there there's three legs and for the last leg pull the cord out melt the end go to walmart buy a new lighter okay there's that end Now we need to put the wire in. I don't always get the wires in this easily. Sometimes they have a little bit of a bend on the end or something and they just don't like to go in. They keep poking through the cord. But I got lucky this time, so that's good. Well, maybe not so lucky at this end. It doesn't want to slide back out. Okay, now I got a little... Oh, see how see how it pokes out there? If you're having 
having some problems. Okay, there's a little bit of slack there. A little bit of slack there. Go ahead and melt the fray off. Seal it up. Now I have four legs. These will be my legs, and they'll be adjusted slightly after they're mounted. But this is how they start. One, two, three, four legs. Next, I'm going to do the pinchers. So for the pinchers, I start out with, if you remember, four feet of cord and a three and a half inch wire. Here's my three and a half inch wire. And this is two feet of the dark cord and two feet of the light cord. First, remove the cord from the center of them. There it is. And we just set that aside. We won't be using it. Then get it out of the dark one. Out it goes. Now we have two foot of light cord, two foot of dark cord, and I'm going to tie them together into a square knot to make it four foot of rope. All right, good and tight. And I'm going to just trim off these because they make me crazy, which doesn't take much. And I'm going to melt them down. This knot is not going to become part of the final project. It will be cut off. Now, just to make the other ends easier to work with, I'm going to also melt them so that they don't fray while I'm working with them. It's harder to work with them when they fray. So, there we go. Okay, now, with the knot at the bottom, I'm going to measure with my three and a half inch wire how far the pinchers are going to be. So, I just put my wire there for measuring purposes at this time. And then I'll take one cord and go under everything and then over the cord on the other side and then I'll take the cord from the other side and go through this loop now I want to keep a couple of little ears up there I'll adjust these in a minute Okay, so now I need to take this right cord and go under everything and over the left cord, then take the left cord and come over and through that loop and then tighten it all up. Now, what we have is a real nice looking little cobra knot. So. Okay, so now we've got the pinchers begun. These will actually be the pinchers. And get that night knot nice and tight. And I'm going to be coming down with this three and a half inch wire to mold the pinchers around. So this is a time when I want to put the wire in and I just 
try and stick it right through that cobra knot, which is always easier said than done. You can try and stab it from this side, or you can try and stab it from the other side. Oh, I can feel it. I think I'm through. There it is. And then I pulled it back out. There it is again. Okay, so I poke it up there a little ways because I'm going to be trimming it later. I just need to get that so that I can work with it. And then I can tighten my knot up real good. Oh, no, look what I did. I pulled my pincher down. I need to pull that back up. Come on back up there, little guy. Okay, I got him back up there. Uh, okay, I need to tighten that knot. Without pulling my pinchers down. So if I hold this a little bit, I could probably snug that up. And then I'll put another one in there to reinforce it. So now here's what we're pretty much going to need to remember almost the rest of the whole thing. I've got this, use this for a pointer. I've got this little loop here, the light colored cord on that side. It's a little loop. You see, I don't have a loop over on that side, but I have a loop on this side. So when I don't have a loop on the other side, that's where I need to work to get a loop. So I'll take that side and put it underneath everything, and then I'll put it over the rope on the other side, and take that and come over and through the loop I created on the left. And thus, I end up with a nice cobra knot again. So, now I've got a loop on the left side. So I need a loop on the right side. So I'll take the right side, go under, put it over the rope on the left, and then take that over the top and through the loop. And tighten it up. This is where you get really nice calluses on the sides of your fingers. Tightening up all these knots because there's going to be hundreds of them. Okay, now I've got two knots, or two loops, on this side, and only one on that side. I need four on each side. So, let's get another one over here. Go under, and then over. And then we take that line, and put it over the top, and through that loop. another cobra knot. Pull them tight. Now I need another loop over on this side. So I go under, take that over that side, and then that side comes over the top and through that loop. There's another cobra knot. Now I've got three knots on this side and two on that side. So I want another one on this side. So I go under and over and through. And tighten it up. And then I like to squish them together every now and then. So now I've got one, two, three on that side, one, two, three on that side, and I want four on each side. So I go and go another one on this side, under, over, and through. OK. 
Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four on this side, one, two, three on that side. So I come under, over, and through. Voila. Look at that, and I squish them together. So I've got one, two, three, four loops on that side, and one, two, three, four on that side. I guess they're called knots. I don't know whatever you want to call them. Now we have to rest on the pinchers for a little bit because we're going to put the rope for the body on there. Now the body is five foot of cord with a four and a half inch stinger wire in the middle. So let's start with the five foot of cord. I've already pre-measured it. And what I've got is two and a half feet of the dark and two and a half feet of the light, which when combined will become five feet of cord. Now, I want to remember to take the center out. Okay. And out of the dark one. Okay, they've been decorded. So I have my dark one and my light one, two and a half feet of each, and I'm going to tie them together with my famous square knot. Now, if you're not familiar with the square knot, the square knot starts out like tying your shoe, but then you don't want it to be a granny knot, so you make sure that you put the cords so that the two of the same color are on the top and the two of the other color are on the bottom. That's a square knot. Pull it good and tight because <coughs> this one's going to end up being the head of the scorpion. So I want it to be as small as I can make it. Now, I'm going to trim off some excess here on both sides. And melt them down. I don't know if you noticed the way I just flipped that up. I flipped it up so that I'd be melting the one that I cut, but not, no, not this one here. I didn't want that to be in the line of fire. Okay, let's do this side. So. I want to melt that, but I don't want to melt this. Also, don't want to melt my finger. Okay. Now that eventually will become the head. Looks like I need to melt just a little bit more of it there. Or, yeah, I better melt it. This is probably where I'll melt my finger.
I think I did all right. So now I've got a five foot long cord. And I'm going to take the knot end and put it underneath all the lines and then pull them through so I end up with a head there but you know what I want this to be on top so I'm going to flip this over And just take it and flip it over. And we'll call that, oops, my mistake. Okay, and then I want to pull that tight. Because this is going to be right in the middle of the pinchers. And it's going to become the head. Now, I want that up against these as tight as I can get it. So what I'm going to do is pull down on the long parts here to try and force that up. I want it right up, right up against those. Okay, that's pretty good for now. And now I need to continue on with my pinchers to get the other, the other side. So I'm going to start over here. And that's going to go, I'm going to go under everything and then over the dark one. And then the dark one is going to go through that loop. These are going to continue to be in the way. So we'll just have to live with them. Okay, now I've got a loop on this side, so I need one on this side. Remember, we want four on each side. So we'll go over. I guess I should say we went under, then over, and then this goes through. And there's our cobra knot. This thing will continue to come loose and drive us crazy for the whole rest of the build. Now, I need a knot on this side. So I go under and over and through. And there's the cobra knot. And my snake heads, or my scorpion heads, continues to get into my way. Okay, now we've got a knot on this side, or a loop, but not on the other side. So let's do the other side. Under, over, and through. And then tighten it up because you don't have enough blisters yet. Okay. Now we've got one, two, one, two. Let's do another one on this side. Under, over, and through. Tighten it up. And then squeeze them together a little bit every now and then. Get 
these guys out of the way. We have a three knots on this side, two on that side. We need another one over here. So we go under. And we go over. And then we go through. Another good cobra knot. Tighten her all up. Okay, we got one, two, three, one, two, three on both sides. We need four on both sides. We need another one over here because we've already got one there. So we go under and over. And then we go through. Another good cobra nut. Now we've got one, two, three, four knots on this side. One, two, three on that side. Let's do our fourth and final one on that side. We go under, we go over, and we go through. <clears throat> All righty. And then kind of squish them together. Tighten everything up. Okay, now let's do a little trim work. Okay, we don't need this wire sticking out or we're all going to get poked. So I'm going to trim that wire back. Now, these are going to be my pinchers. So, I'm going to cut them right here close on both sides and melt those back to keep it from coming unfrayed or undone. And then these other ones will be my pinchers. So, we'll cut this one back. And we'll cut this one back. Those will become the pinchers. Right now I need to melt those down so that they don't let the knot come undone. I don't want any of these things to burn. see what I'm doing okay so I've melted that back so that it doesn't come undone now I'll melt this one back I think I got it good enough. I'm going to melt this little piece here. Just for a little extra. A little extra security. Okay, now these become my pinchers. They're too long, so I need to shorten them up. I'll shorten them to about there. Now, sometimes when I melt these, I kind of give them a little bit of a point to them just to make them look a little bit nastier. I'll show you what I mean. Get that tip all nice and warmed up and then I give it one of those. Get that all melted up and give it one of these. Yeah, that one didn't do it. And did a little bit. So those are my pinchers on one side. And now I need pinchers on the other side. Look at this mess of these things always. Get so much in my way.
We'll get back to them in a minute. Right now I want to trim this off and melt it close so it doesn't come undone. other side now I can get rid of this wire we don't need that poking out there. And then these will become my pinchers. You can see we're getting rid of this knot. There's a pincher. There's, oop. I should have got some better scissors. And there's another pincher and this extra piece I'll probably end up not using because I already cut everything I need sometimes I use those extra pieces for the legs or the pincher or the stinger but I've already pre-cut those for the video You probably can't see it on the video, but there's some little threads hanging off. I just want to cut those little threads off. Okay. Got a little, little bit of a goober there. I'm going to just melt that. Melt that little goober right in there. Alrighty. So. It's starting to take shape. These will be my little pinchers. This will be the little head. And... This is going to end up being the body. We're going to work on that next. So what I have is a stinger that I have to put up the center of that body. So I've already cut the cord. So my stinger um, is four and a half inches of wire. Four and a half inches of wire. Okay. And then a cord that it fits in. First, I want to take the center out of my cord. And then I'll melt one end just so my wire doesn't go through. And then I'll poke my wire in. Okay, that's bottomed right out there. I'm going to go ahead and cut a little bit of that off and melt that in. But this will all be adjusted more in a little bit. So, 
what I do next. This is going to be my stinger. It's going to be the portion that goes up the back here and comes out the top. So, it gets rather difficult to work with because I want it to set right between these two cords. Like that. But I can't do that and tie my knights or my knots down. It just everything goes everywhere. So at this stage of the game, I take a little bit of scotch tape and I tape it in place. I put it right between them. Take a little bit of scotch tape. That's more than I need. I'm not that nimble, so I usually have a little bit of trouble doing this. And I'm also going to do another one, just a little bit further up. But as I tie my knots, they will cover up that scotch tape. It will not be visible. So I'm going to put another piece right about there. As small as I can get it. And now I can't get it off my finger. Okay, now I've got my stinger piece going up the middle. So, I get up to the top here. I'm going to want my tail about this long so right about where I want the top of the tail I'll come under do I want to go with the dark side or the light side eh, it doesn't matter I'm going to go with the dark side I'm going to come under everything and then over and then I'm going to take this one and go through about how long I want it. I can't tighten that one too much because it's just one knot by itself. So I come back over to get a loop on that side. That goes over and this comes through. And there's a cobra knot. And That's about how long I want my body to be. So I'm looking good. And I'll trim all this off after everything else is done. So I got a loop on this side. We're going with the dark this time with the white in the center. So I got a loop on that side, so I got to go to this side. I go under, over, and through. And there's a cobra knot. I tighten it up real good. And I'm going to do this all the way down to the head. So it's going to get a little boring. Might want to fast forward. Okay, now I need a loop over on this side. So I come under and over and through. And 
tighten her up. And then under, over, and through. Tighten her up. Oh, blisters. Under, over, and through. Under, over, and through. Tighten her up. Under, over, and through. And under, over, and through. And under, over, and through. Tighten her up. Kind of squish them together now and then. Under, over, and through. Under, over, and through. And can you tell that I'm going every other knot and how even they look. If you screw up and you go up from the wrong side first, it'll show up here. You'll notice. So I've got a loop there. I need to put a loop on this side. Over. I mean, under. Over. And through. See, that creates a loop over here. <coughs> there it is. Now, this has no loop. We go under, over, and through. Tighten them up. Now, under, over, and through. And I'm just covering up my first piece of tape. And I'm going under, over, and through. And that tape has helped make it more manageable. Under, over, and through. Tighten them up. Under, over, and through. Under, over, and through. Under, over, and through. And squish them together a little bit. I can see that I'm getting the dark on the outside and the light on the inside. Where on these other ones, I had the light on the outside and the dark on the inside. So, ah, they stung me. So we'll see what the difference looks like when I'm done. I don't think anybody's going to notice. Okay, under, over, and through. What have I done? Here it is. Oop. I don't know what I've done here. Here it is. Let's squeeze them together. Okay. Under, over, and through. 
tighten them up. Under, over, and through. Get off that pincher. Let's squeeze them down out of the way a little bit. Okay, under, over, and through. And through the woods to grandmother's house we go. No, we don't. Uh, under. You see, this gets pretty monotonous. Not only that, my fingers are burning. <sighs> from blisters I'm getting from doing this part right here where I tighten up. Tighten up those knots. Tears up my skin. Under, over, and through. And under, over, and through. What's going on here? What's going on? stuck over the pincher. Get off of there. There we go. Under, over, and through. Tighten them up. Under, over, and through. Tighten it up. Under. We're getting close. Over and then through. We have to take it all the way down to the head. Now under, over, and through. Tighten it up. Okay, under. Over. And through. Tighten it up. Squish many and look like it. Okay, uh, getting close. Under, over, and through. Tighten them up. Under. Over. And through. OK. 
Okay. We're right down to the head now. I think I can get one more in there. So I'll go under, over, and through for the last time on this head, on this stretch. Okay. <sighs> so there's my pinchers. There's my head. Now I gotta trim these off and melt them back. So my knots don't come unfrayed. Okay, I think I'll go ahead and do my pincher right here while I'm at it. Now, it's way too long. I've got a bunch of slack, so I'll cut off the slack. And then I'll go down and cut off some of that wire. And I'll try and stretch it out a little bit to make it look more like a pokey pincher. If I get it nice and bubbly like that, I can, yeah, like that. There, see how it kind of came to a point? I like that, and I'm happy with that. So that'll be my pincher that folds over. Now we got to do the bulk and the legs. Where's my bulk? There's my bulk. Okay, I already pre-cut my bulk. And what did I say I wanted the bulk? I want the three foot of cord for the bulk. And I need to take the cord out of the center of it. I wish I could find a use for all this nice nylon I'm taking out of the center of these. So far I have not. Now I'm going to fray the ends of these just to make them a little bit easier to work with. I said fray, I meant melt them so they don't fray. I'm one of those can't walk and chew gum at the same time kind of guys. There's that end. And there's that end. That should be enough to keep them from fraying while I'm working with them. So I'm going to take this 
three foot of cord. I'm going to find the middle. That's the middle. And I'm going to put it through the, the scorpion. Then I'm going to put it underneath. And I'm going to come over the top. This needs to go over the top. Come on, I'll get it figured out in a minute. Like this. Yeah, that's it. Now, I'm going to have to put four legs on each side in this section here. So I want to kind of judge where this needs to be. And I would say that's about where it needs to be, right there. So I'm going to tighten that down. And then I need a loop over on this side. So I go, I don't know if you caught that. I go under this side, and then over, and then through. So that we have that scorpion knot again, except this time I'm going to stick one of my pre-made legs into that hole there. Just, just through that one there for now, and then I'm going to tighten that up. Now I want to make sure that I've got an equal amount of wire on both sides, which you can see I don't quite hear. So I'm going to pull a little bit more through. That's a little bit more equal. Okay, so now I've got a leg going through a knot on that side, but not on this side. So I'm going to take this over the top of it. And we have a loop on this side, so we need to do the loop on this side now. We go under and over and through. One set of legs attached. Okay, now I need a loop on this side. So I go under and over. Go under and over and through. And I stick a leg in there. There we go. I got a little premature a second ago. So we want a leg in there. And I'm going to measure the wire, get the wire about equal, and tighten her up. <sighs> oh, look at that, my wire. My wire's poking through over here already. That's the reason I give it all that slack, is so that doesn't happen. Okay, I think I got it back in there. I'll fix that when we get to the final adjustments. That one's trying to poke through too. It's doing a good job of it. Oh. Now, I need to get this over the top of that leg so it'll hold that in place. And I want my loop over here. So I go under and over and through. Let's 
tighten that one up. Okay, there's two sets of legs in place. Real good and tight. Now I need a loop over on this side. So I go under and over and through. And I need another leg. And I'll put my leg in there. And tighten it down. And then I need to come over it on this side to hold it. And do the loop on this side so I go under and over and through and tighten her up I think I could have given myself a little bit more room because I still got one more leg to go. I'll get it in there. So we need a loop on this side. We'll go under and over and through. And we put a leg in there. tight and we got to do one more I got to get one more knot in there should give myself a little bit more room so we're going to go over that leg and we're going to go under on the left which is going to go over and then we're going to go through It's pretty tight. <sighs> but we got them all in there. Can I get one more knot on there? I don't think I can. So I'm going to go ahead and Trim these and burn these. I normally like to put one more knot in there, but I'm pretty darn close. That side. Yeah, that side. Let's melt those without getting the pinchers burnt or the legs.
Okay, now what's left is fixing these legs. I'll come back to the pinchers later. I'll start with the back legs. Okay, and I want to come up and down and out. And this is the part where usually the wire pokes through. That's why I leave this slack there. So I come up and down and out. Okay, now I come up and down and out. And 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 up and down and out. So, you can play with them to your liking. This one's too long, this one's too long, this one's too long, this one's a little long. So I'm going to see if I can trim them and burn them back a little bit. This has got a lot of slack. So I can trim that one and burn it. This one's got a lot of slack. So I can trim that and burn it. This one's got a little bit of slack. I think I just burn it a little bit. This has got a lot of slack. So, burn this one. Now on this side, quite a bit of slack there. I think I can just cut a little bit, burn the rest. That looks good. That one just needs a little burning. This one needs a little burning. This one needs quite a bit. I'll cut a little bit off on that one. And then burn it. So, I just noticed that I've twisted my camera so I don't know how much of that cutting and burning and twisting you saw but this is where I've ended up with my legs and now I'll adjust my pinchers a little bit pull them out and in at the ends Got my body down. Now I need to bend this like you'd expect to see it underneath a rock. I don't know. I think 
think I might have done okay on this one. So now I've got this one with the... Hey, how'd that happen? I thought I had the dark on the outside. I guess I had it... Hmm. I don't know. I thought I had the dark on the outside and the light on the inside. But all three of them have the light on the inside. I think I like the lighter colored legs better than the darker colored legs. But there you have three paracord scorpions. And you can see why I don't just make these and hand them out for everybody. They're a pain in the butt.